Welcome to Gap Advisors channel. This video discusses an example of non-compliance with India 7 on statement of cash flows. After watching the videos on Gap Advisors channel, download the financial statements of the listed company of which you are an investor, auditor, lender or employee and see whether the company has a reported similar to that being discussed in these videos. If found, make the company aware of the issues in their financial statements, enabling the company to excel in financial reporting in India. You may contribute your desired amount for the knowledge obtained by scanning the QR code given in these slides. A review of financial statements lets you know the degree of reliance you can place on the information in those financial statements. If you would like to get financial statements reviewed by Gap Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com. A link to book an online meeting slot for one-on-one -on -one consultation on Indias is given in the description box. You can also submit your issues on Indias on gapadvisors.com. The slide shows an extract of the expenses reported in the statement of profit and loss, extract of the cash flows from financing activities reported in the statement of cash flows and note 17 on other current liabilities. The aggregation of the liabilities as other current liabilities is an issue. However, we are not discussing the same in this video. The company has reported interest paid in cash flows from financing activities equal to the finance costs reported in the statement of profit and loss. This means that the company either has no accrued interest or has equal amounts of accrued interest at the end of the current year and previous year and opening of the previous year. The company has disclosed in note 17 carrying amount of interest accrued but not due on loans and the amount is decreasing. This indicates that the company has paid interest in cash more than finance costs reported in profit or loss. This also indicates that the company has reported non-cash items in statement of cash flows. Para 43 of India 7 requires investing and financing transactions that do not require the use of cash or cash equivalents shall be excluded from the statement of cash flows. I will repeat again. Para 43 of India 7 requires investing and financing transactions that do not require the use of cash or cash equivalents shall be excluded from the statement of cash flows. The company has reported accrued interest as interest paid in cash in cash flows from financing activities. Thus, the company has not complied with India 7. Due to this, the statement of cash flows has been impacted. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this video was useful and you have contributed your desired amount by scanning the QR code for the knowledge obtained. If not, please do it now. If you would like to get your financial statements reviewed by Gap Advisors, you may mail them to info at gapadvisors.com. A link to book an online meeting slot for one-on-one -on -one consultation on Indias is given in the description box. You can also submit your issues on Indias on gapadvisors.com.